So how long have you been working here? I've come up for three years. Three years, oh my gosh. Yeah. So at the moment I'm looking at um, net zero 2050. The government said we want no emissions, but we also need to re-insulate our homes, stop burning gas or anything, build carbon capture to do all the things that we have to burn and also build loads of new network. We say you joined up in 2014, was that yep. sort of the plan to get into the energy sector or did it just happen along the way? So I graduated doing history and French. I did a, a year abroad afterwards teaching English. I then joined a publishing firm in a grad scheme, learning how you manage products. I landed a role with Boston Consulting Group and they put me in energy and I haven't looked back. I joined Drax and we've been on this massive growth curve. You've got media people, you've got arts people, you've got um, languages people. The London office has gone from 15 in 2016 to about 100 now. It's really international and it's exciting because we have to do something like yeah. yesterday. <laughs> so much for you must be looking at like right how have we been doing this? How have other countries been doing it? I guess for you there's a lot of trying to learn from past mistakes. The world is full of problems that we need people to go and grapple with. Yeah. Um, and it's being excited about doing that change. History and politics opens the door to so many different things. So, okay, you can go into academia, you can go into politics. Studying, I think, gave me the way of being able to write documents and persuade people, yeah. because I'm writing about the future, right? Yeah. So it's about, it's about rhetoric, it's about taking lots of information, digesting it, and then trying to explain that to people to get to the why does this matter.